Now we'll be crafting with one of our pen barrels. For this one, I've decided to use the pencil. Now this is the only piece that comes in your kit that will not be able to be done with the flat press. So for this one, you do need a confection oven or a sublimation oven, which is going to be any oven that is dedicated specifically to sublimation and has good airflow. So for this, we're going to use our Maker Flow sublimation oven. But first, we'll go ahead and take apart our pencil by just holding the stylus end in place and then unscrewing the nose and then sliding the barrel right off. You can go and put your pencil back together and save the rest of the pieces for later. While you're doing that, you'll go ahead and grab your pencil barrel and then you can choose which design you'd like. Your set will come with two different designs. Once you have the design chosen that you want to use, go ahead and grab your sublimation tape. What we'll be doing now is we're going to go ahead and put a strip of tape along the edge of the end of the design. The reason for this is the design is a little bit longer than the pencil. So what you want to do is protect that overlap from seeping through, just like you would with a tumbler if the design is a little bit bigger than the tumbler. So we're going to go ahead and just line the inside of the seam there with tape. So see how it goes all the way to the edge without going over? That's exactly what you're looking for. You can always feel along the top too if you're not sure if you've gone over the edge. The tape will feel a little bit different than the paper. So go ahead and just check that out and when you're ready to go, you'll place the actual pen barrel inside of the design so that way the design is facing toward the pen barrel. Now I'm going to cut off a little strip of that sublimation tape. Uh, the reason for that is I'm going to use that just to anchor my design in place. So go ahead and just find the end of the tape and cut off a little piece. This is going to save you just a little bit of time and effort in the long run. You don't need much, just a little bit to cover over that paper. So once you have that separated, go ahead and use your scissors and you can just cut that right off. I always move the tape in the same direction as the paper. So see how I folded it right over where that paper started? Once you've done that, you can actually grab your tape roll and start rolling all the way around like we're doing here. What you'll want to notice is the seam line starts to even up as you roll all the way around your pen barrel. Uh, that's really what you're looking for, to try to keep even pressure as you're spinning around and around the pen barrel. You don't need to fully cover the design from end to end with that tape. You just want to make sure you're moving in a smooth motion, that way there's no bumps of the paper underneath. You want that paper to lay as flat as possible against that pen barrel. Once you've gone all the way to one edge, go ahead and leave yourself a little bit of a tail. That way it's going to be easier to unwrap when we're done. You'll see at the very end, it's a pretty neat trick. Then once you've done that one side, go ahead and find where the end of your tape is, start from the middle, and do the other side as well. Again, when you're rolling around with your tape, you're going to want to make sure to go in the same direction as the paper. That way it really encourages that paper to lay down flat versus fighting against the paper when you're trying to go in the opposite direction. So go ahead and slowly just go all the way around. You don't need to cover all the design. Just make sure that the seam line starts to even up with the other side that you've already done and that'll ensure that you're applying even pressure throughout. Once you've reached the end of that pen barrel, you'll go ahead and do the same thing and leave yourself a bit of a tail. If at any point you see that that seam line is getting uneven, the tape is pretty forgiving. You can always go back a little bit and relay that tape down. But it looks like ours is moving pretty steady, so we'll go ahead and just finish up, get to the end, and leave that little bit of a tail. That way we can go ahead and unwrap it easily when it is done. Now once you've done that, I usually just fold the tape ends over, that way they're easy to undo, and then we'll go ahead and pop it in the oven. So now we're using our MakerFlow sublimation oven. We're going to go ahead and set it for 375 degrees for 6 minutes. Place that pen barrel right on the rack, and let it sit for 6 minutes. Once that 6 minutes is up, you'll grab your heat glove, go ahead and take out your pen. Usually I'll put my heat glove on my non-dominant hand to make it easy to unwrap, and then pull from the edges. See how it comes off just like a curly cue? Once you've done that to both sides, you should be able to get that tape off pretty easy and the paper as well. And there you are. All you have to do is add that to your pencil barrel and one fresh pencil created just for you.